guys welcome back to my channel it's Christina Kasky here with forever board slippery and I'm playing with another can concrete vessel um, I think kind of the intention of my channel was kind of to learn and grow with me and I hemmed and hawed about whether or not to do another concrete vessel video but I decided I was gonna do it because I've learned something new and every time I continue to learn more and more I figure why not share it again so although most of my videos will generally be on soap making um, I'm kind of on a candle making kick here right now just as I learn and I thought I would share with you guys so the the number one thing that i have learned here this week is that you should not guys be using this polycrylic um, on your candle vessels as a sealer uh, it's what i picked up it's what i'd seen in a couple other youtube videos that everybody was using um, this one and earth safe were the two that I kept seeing being used. EarthSafe wasn't available here in Canada. It has something I had to order from the States. This was available in my local hardware store. So this is what I bought. Um, unfortunately, it's not heat safe. It is not fire resistant. So I can't use that guy anymore. So the first few vessels that I did make, I will just be I'll probably end up tossing them. Honestly, if they're not fire safe, then that vessel is just not safe. Maybe I'll make it a planter pot instead or something. Maybe that's what I'll do is change them into planter pots. Um, but they're definitely not safe for candles. So we'll do that. And then I'm just going to make some new vessels now. And those new ones will hopefully be a little better than the old ones anyways and I ordered some new sealant once that comes in I'll be able to seal all the ones I make up so I, I think it's coming from Amazon and it should be fairly quick I wouldn't be surprised if it's even here tomorrow um, but I figured I'd go ahead make myself another vessel and uh, yeah keep keep going for it so today's vessel is going to be um i thought i would go ahead and try to fill all of my molds that i do have so i've got my candle or my concrete vessel one i figured i'd give the lid another shot because that hasn't worked out too great for me so far um and then i've got uh the little concrete vessel the flowers um, I'm going to try going a little bit more runny today. My reasoning for that is I want it to pour nicely into the lid mold and have a nice smooth lid as well as I want to try that rose one again, see if I can get it to stick, even if I have to let it dry longer, which I think is a possibility. Now I had on here that I needed 400. To do the lid and the candle, or the lid and the candle vessel. Ugh, I'm measuring today. There we go. Okay, so that's 400. However, I've also decided I want to do some colors today. So, I think what I'll do, how do I want to do this? Do I go with colors? <laughs> okay, I think what we'll do is we'll go all white in here and we'll just drop some color in for the swirly swirls. I think, yeah, that seems like the way to go. I'm gonna grab my mask so I can get rid of that guy. I've got my distilled water here. 
I do need to do some research on whether or not that's super important to have the distilled water. Um, some people say it definitely is, but I'm curious as to their reasons as to why, because that's definitely an expense. If it's not something that affects me or how I make my vessels, that might be something where I could cut down on the, some expense. Which would be lovely. I said I'm going to try to go a little runnier this time around. And I'm also going to get this. So I have this mica. It's a white diamonds mica. Um, basically, it's mostly TD. And it's got some sparkle to it. I don't know that the sparkle is really going to show up. But I didn't have any TD that I thought would be ideal in here um, in regards to sorry the TD that I have is an oil base that's my point it's all I have is oil based ones and I wasn't sure how that's going to play out since this is really a water base so I had this little bit of white diamonds left it doesn't really show up in soap for the sparkles either. So I thought, well, I'll try it in this can or in the special. See what it looks like. Get it used up. And still. That should be enough water. Oops, make it a mess. That's pretty running, guys. aqua green and a turquoise and a black so I thought I'd go all out and just kind of do a good sploosh of each oh, this one's not even open yet just trying to have a little bit of fun with some Maybe not necessarily marbling, but swirling technique, I guess. Okay. So, got them all in there. We're just going to give it a couple of swirls, nothing too crazy. And hope that it works out. Because if you go too crazy, you don't get the bigger swirls. So, gotta watch for that. So, wish me luck. I think I'm gonna do it again because all the color is gone here, guys except for the black.
Let's have that some more in a minute. I just want to get the lid poured. And there's a lot more color on this edge. I'm trying to be a little more intentional with the lid here. I've been overfilling it every single time. Okay, just a titch overfill, but not so bad this time. I don't think. I think the swirls might work out well here as long as I don't have too much paint in there. Really, I still have my mask on here, guys. Maybe you can hear me better now. So I did notice the one that I did some super tapping on. I really spent a lot of time with the tapping. Did have a lot of less air bubbles. Um, so we'll try and put some effort into that here. I really, really hope that I don't have too much paint in this, that it won't. Do what I want it to do. The colors look gorgeous. I'm really happy with the way that they're looking. Okay, so okay. We're just going to move these little fellas to dry on the drying rack here. We shall pray for the best. Okay. So, I think I'm going to try using the same cup here this time. I'll pop the mask back on. I don't even know why I bothered taking it off for you. here with some of the quick greedy stuff and some water. for the same style I think um, for these ones for the flower and the I'm gonna go with a little bit less paint just because I know I had to add more halfway down to get the color to go all the way through you just won't go so crazy with it on the top here we'll start with our other candle mold here a little guy People have been loving this one a lot. I've had lots of comments on it. People are really liking it. Okay, I'll leave that one there for now. And then we'll start with these two. I might have too much concrete in here. It's interesting that the black is spreading so evenly and nicely. And the blue and the teal are kind of sticking 
to one spot. That makes sense. The black's just a lot thinner of a paint, different brand, I guess. That's my little rose. A little flower that I've been nothing but happy with, for sure. A little tea light. concrete left here. I'm just going to go do a little snooping and see if I've got any other molds. don't guys I don't have one that I feel comfortable giving up to the concrete world so unfortunately I'm wasting some but I will be getting more and more vessels as time progresses here so I won't be having this wastage this is my goal it's very far sad to be dumping this but again lessons learned um yeah so let's see how these ones go hopefully they come out beautiful tomorrow hey guys i almost forgot to come back and show you what the swirling technique looked like so i did the concrete vessels with just dropping some acrylic paint into the the concrete mixture and then just giving it a quick stir to give it a bit of a swirl i will say um, pros and cons, I guess, to what I did. Um, I do love this worldly look in here. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, some spots way better than others for sure. However, I have some areas where the acrylic paint kind of pulled and clumped up, if that makes sense. So the, it didn't have the opportunity to adhere to the cement. So here and here um, on the bottom a bit. I don't think, just based on what I'm seeing, that that's an, a problem, more of an aesthetic type thing. Um, what I would suspect I need to do is add less next time. I felt like I did add a fair amount and considering I had made the vessel white and it was supposed to have some light swirls of black and green and blue, you can see that it's pretty much black and green and blue. It doesn't really have that white look to it. So I think less is gonna be more next time um, and that'll probably make all the difference, but we'll see how this one plays out after it's been sealed and all that, but I think it'll be okay. Interestingly, this is the lid. So this came from the same batch and it's very white <laughs> which is interesting um and in fact this is this is kind of what i was going for on the lid <laughs> so yeah and i would say the lid was poured last so it had the least amount of the black and the green and blue um, get reaching down to it so again less is more i think is, is where i'm at on this so i'll definitely try this route again with a little bit less but she looks pretty cute all together lovely 
Now what I love is the cute little flower again. Just, I don't know why this flower loves the cement mold so much, but it does. It makes the cutest little things. So we've got those. And then I did the little tea light vessel, which actually came out pretty good. It's black um, for the most, a lot of black in it again, with some color here and there. It does have a little bit of what I'm gonna call the paint clumping area here at the bottom. Um, but again, this is, is a really nice looking candle vessel. I, I do like this one quite a bit. And interestingly enough, my little baby rose worked out this time. So that'll look really cute, just kind of sitting on the top on the side of this vessel, I think. Pretty happy about that. And that's all of them. So that was that, was that round. I, I'll definitely, as I said, do another one. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I just had a thought, wouldn't it be cool? Take just a little bit of concrete and put it here and stick it and then have the little lid, have the little rose on top. I think that could potentially be very cute too. Maybe down the road. Anyways, all the fun I can have. Dirty fingers. Um, yeah, let me know guys if you're enjoying the concrete vessel videos. Uh, give it a like or pop me a comment. Just let me know if you want me to keep doing these as I progress and learn or if you're getting kind of sick of them. <laughs> um, I, I'm happy either way. Um, I'm enjoying kind of learning the tips and tricks and little nuances of everything. Uh, if you are enjoying watching it too, then definitely feel free to keep following along um, and let me know and I'll, I'll keep doing them. Um, otherwise, I think I'll assume that everybody's getting a little bit tired of seeing them and I might ease off of them a little bit here for a while, but we shall see. Um, I don't know if I shared this one, but this one looks gorgeous, like just everything. It's perfect in every way. I'm so happy with this one. Can't wait to seal it when I get my new sealer in.